Hello everyone, welcome to something of everything. In this video we will see the joint weight method in step That means how to provide joint weights in step for seismic analysis. Okay, let's first give the definition of seismic definition. Let's say we want one eight nine three eight eleven two. Let's have the parameters intact except joint factor and edit. Then you have to provide self weight, joint weight, members weight, etc. But if you want to use the joint weight method, all you have to do is you have to provide joint weights. But for the first analysis, just have self weight in it so that it doesn't show the errors. Now you have to give the pin support to get the joint weights of the structure. Okay, so we have created dead load, live load less than three, and live load of the terrace, and DL plus point twenty five LL L three as per IS one eight nine three, live load of up to three, including three, per twenty five percent of live load to be taken as joint weight in joint weight calculation process with analysis. Okay, so let's just hide the. Supports so that we can provide the pin supports instead of it. Okay, let's hide this, save this, close this. Now just select beams parallel to Y. It is select only columns. And go to view, view selected objects. Do the front view. Go to support, create pin support. Edit. Now just provide the pin supports. To the joints, at which points you want to calculate the joint weights. Okay. Now that you have provided the pin support, all you have to do is you have to give the analysis print command and analyze the structure. It is showing. It is showing that I guess the error will be density not provided. Okay. We have to provide the property of the members. Let's say our columns are of. Rectangle uh, square by 30 by 130 and beam of of depth by 25 and width by 23. Okay. Let's just give the properties to the respective members. Go to select select beam parallel to Y and provide the column property. Go to select beam parallel to Y. Go to select select by inverse beam selection so that you can select the beams. Go to view. Click on view selected objects only, so that you can see the beams only. Select the beams property and assign to view. All the beams are being provided property. Now analyze. Okay. Let us see. We have done the analysis. All we have to do now is we have to calculate the joint weight. Okay. So for that, go to cross processing and press that. Click on the left mark so that all the loads comes out in available instead of selected. Just select the fourth one and press the right mark so that it goes into the selected one. Apply. Okay. Go to reactions. Select all the reactions. Right click it. Copy it. Open Excel file. Okay. In Excel file, we have to paste that reaction. Now all you have to do is you have to write the joint weight. Joint weight. We have to select the joint number. We have to write the weight, and we have to select the F Y. Now you have to drag all to the end. Okay. As you have done this. You have to go back to it. Select the joint weight. Select all the loads up to the end. Copy it. Go to the step file. Go to editor file. And in seismic definition, instead of self weight, just paste the loading. We have another method to do this. This takes. Almost one to two minutes of use, and 
the tail process is tedious okay so let us do one another thing let's go to the excel file again let's say we don't have this all we have to do is we have to buy the joint weight extract and after pasting the reactions just press the joint weight extract enable macros it has done all the things for you and joint weight extractor comes only at rupees 50 you can buy it let's go to editor file remove state uh, self weight and provide the joint weights close the model okay you have to again go to the input file because you have to uncomment this and you have to comment this so that you can use it again if you want to extract the joint weights again okay now all you have to do is analysis but as you can see in our load cases we have not defined the session load cases it's all we have to do is we have to first define those seismic for in load cases okay so go to seismic type eqx add yes like eqz add okay now that you have so added the eqx and eqz go to input file remember the seismic forces will always come before any other cases that means we have to cut this from here we have to paste them about that load all we have to do is we have to write save it close it go to load and definitions load case details in eqx press add go to seismic loads in x direction 1 press add ok one at times will load x1 just go to editor file save this and in editor file just add perform analysis and change what it will do it will perform the analysis and change the loadings from the joint words as per the stiffness of the joints it will provide the horizontal forces respectively ok just copy all the commands and paste in the z direction what you have to do is you have to replace x with z save it close it analyze and you can see that the loads have came ok this is how you can provide the joint weights in process with analysis instead. Thanks for bearing us and watching the video up to the last. If you subscribe to our channel, like the video if you liked it, share the video with your friends and colleagues. You write in comments what you want else in step two to learn. Thank you for watching us and yeah. To buy the joint weight extractor, just WhatsApp us at below mentioned number. Thank you for watching us.